hello, hello, my friends and my enemies and every other person whom I don't know. So, like, you know the enemies are watching because they're like creeping up on the computer like, should I, should I not? And like, bing, and they watch me and um, they can't help it. They just can't help it. Um, yeah, and you know, then they hide under the blanket and I'm like, I love this. I hate this bitch, but I love it. Anyway, I am enjoying a Cabernet. It's red wine, bitches, if you didn't know. <sighs> These ones cool toes. Anyway, today I'm going to do another My Thoughts On, which is a popular series. No, it's my series. Well, it's probably a lot of other series as well. But it's my take on giving my thoughts and ranting out things that I can't do to my wall or myself because I probably won't get the better answers. I probably won't get the answers here either because I'm talking to a camera and two lights, four lights, and a computer where I have my notes on. Okay, that's what I'm... That's what I'm going to say and I'm going to speak about. And today I'm going to be sharing my thoughts on the Real Housewives of Vancouver. Yes, we went from Miami, Florida, USA to Vancouver or Vancouver. I don't really know where it's located. It's in Canada and it's, well, it's really a fabulous show. I'm, I'm going to start by giving some quick little info about it and it premiered the 4th of April 2012 and then the last episode aired the 9th of April 2013 which was the last episode of all or all it was the last episode of that season and after that it was um, put on hold and then later it was announced that it was cancelled I'm going to give you my opinions and I'm going to start by and I'm going to start by presenting each character from season 1 and 2 and giving my opinion, which is gonna go pretty quick. From season one, we have Mary Silva, Jody Clayman, Ronnie Negus, Reiko McKenzie, and Christina Keisel. Mary, I adore. She's very cute, she's very sweet, she's she's not she's very classy, and I love that. Then we have Jody. Jody is very evil, very bitchy, very funny, very shady. She is like Vancouver's LVP, but she's more aggressive, like she's out there, she's really out there. Um, a shit fucking stir, like Denise fucking Richards said, she's an icon. Then we have Ronnie Negus, who is intense. She is funny, crazy, a drunk. Um, I enjoy her. Then we have Rekha McKenzie, who I'm just gonna give, she is boring. She's boring. She adds nothing to nothing. She is just a zero. Like, she, she was, she, she's very cute and she's very beautiful, but I think that's it. Then we have Christina Keisel, who is funny. She is very funny. She, she has a beautiful accent. She talks beautifully. She um, never works. Her primary, her primary income is from her divorce, which was just like so funny. Who says that? And I love that she did. It's fabulous. She, I like her, but she didn't stick around for season two. So in season two, only Mary... Judy and Ronnie returned and Raiko and Christina did not return and in season two instead they added three new uh, cast members which was Amanda Hansen, Julia Reynolds and Robin Richman Reichman. Season two was the best in my opinion. I think season one was like okay but it wasn't like uh, it wasn't like uh. I think season one was good it was enjoyable but season through two was like revolutionary it was like fabulous it was like drama and, and the three new girls really kind of um got stirred up in this shit if, if we're gonna talk like that um after season two of the real housewives of vancouver they put it on hold because they wanted to explore other cities to do real housewives in which they did with toronto uh, but toronto didn't um, didn't get renewed and then they declared that the Real Housewives of Vancouver was not coming back it was cancelled declared cancelled um, one thing that I would say um, about season one they had a reunion which was very good so they can solve it season two did not have a reunion which is for any Real Housewives show a stupid stupid mistake because reunions get a lot of ratings it's usually drama filled love it um, 
in my opinion, they need to bring this show back ASAP. Like, they need to do it now. And they need to bring back every cast member from season two. And maybe not Amanda, because I don't like her at all. <laughs> um, I don't like her. Amanda Hansen joined in season two. She was a previous alcoholic and she has stopped drinking for many, many years. She really, she really comes into the show in the arms of Jody. They kind of become business partners because Amanda does a kombucha tea, kombucha. And then Yulia Reynolds is Russian and she, Yulia Reynolds, Yulia, I, her name is spelled like, I don't know how it's spelled, like it's cuckoo spelled, but I say Julia because she said, hello, my name is Julia, 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 I think. Don't really have an opinion, but I think she gets better as the season progresses, but I, and I would love to see her come back actually, because I think she was, she was a little full of herself, but when it came to show, she wasn't really that, like, well, star power. Um, Robin was the best addition, and she's so funny so she's funny she will get you together she's not afraid of confrontation she's honest she speaks up and i loved it i loved it when she was wasted and ronnie was wasted in season two and they like came for each other and ronnie like stood up and she was like you better not mess with my honey because she's from texas texas yeah she's from texas but she lives in vancouver and she's married to a rich man like all of them kind of but she was the best addition in my opinion and she was fabulous and she was really not afraid to go there. What I love more about season two is that Mary, Mary who was very, in season one was very kind of back, like she was, she's very classy. She really, in season two, stood up for herself, kind of like Mary's still in Miami. She kind of, time progressed and she kind of stood up for herself, Mary really. But she never sank to the level that Jody did. Jody is awful. And I mean awful. Her behavior is unacceptable. It's unacceptable how she was acting and she was just, she was just cuckoo, cuckoo. Ronnie just really became toxic by season two and I think Jody had a lot to do with this because Jody was in her ear all the time and it was just not good. It was just not the best. Um, Ronnie quit drinking in season two because a little after they wrapped season one, her daughter almost drowned. So she kind of stopped drinking and um, then in that and Ronnie just became ridiculous by season two. She On her birthday, they, she started drinking at nine and she said, no, I, I didn't drink, I didn't drink because you know, she was, in, she was not drinking. She had stopped drinking to her because of her daughter. And then she said, oh, Robin just gave me some drugs. And then she later said like a year after, she was like, no, that was just a joke and blah, 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 because I didn't want to admit. I was like, you don't just say that. That's unacceptable. It's not okay. I mean, Amanda, I, I just want to say one thing about this girl. Amanda is so far up Jody's ass that you can see her pernicious hairline from Jody's fucking mouth. Like, honestly, it's like, no. Amanda is just so desperate together. And what I really did, that was so awful, that Julia also said, all, it was kind of like two sides. It was kind of like Mary and Robin against, like, everyone. And Julia was just kind of, like, neutral. She was like, mm. Mm, you know, but <laughs> when Mary and Robin got together, didn't it? They kind of never discussed Jody and Ronnie and blah blah blah. They kind of never cared. But all, but all, Jody, Ronnie, and Amanda could talk about when they got together was Mary. Like I, Mary's mind is Mary. Like that just says so much. The Real House kind of conclude this video on my thoughts on the Real Housewives of Vancouver. I would say. Um, great storylines, great drama, great personalities kind of got together and I really feel like this show needs to come back because it was it was actually never declared cancelled until like, like a few years after when and they were like, uh, because it was actually really good in ratings, they had like millions of ratings in Canada and I just think they should bring this show back and the people who I think they should bring back is Mary, Ronnie, Jody. I think Jody is a disgusting, vile person but she is so good on the show still. I don't like her, actually I'm disgusted by her, but she is really a shit star and she's really cuckoo, so she is needed on the show. Um, so Mary, Ronnie, Jody, Robin, absolutely. I, I, um, if Mana come back, okay. I, I, I wouldn't hate if she came back, and I think Yulia should come back, but I think Julia is replaceable and Mana is replaceable, so both of them, to be honest, I would take them away and bring some new girls in. Like, I would enjoy that. That's my conclusion to this. I hope you like this and, uh, and next time I'm going to be giving my thoughts on the Real Housewives of Toronto. So anyway, thank you so much for watching this video and my Instagram is Allegra Guerrero. You can follow me there if you want.